The ships in today were the main ship two, SS Splendor and the Royal Clipper. The majority of the tourists on board the main ship two were from Germany. Hundreds of passengers utilized the large buses offered by the agents. Many also toured by sea and others walked it. This time around, there were also cyclists. This is also the time when taxi operators cash in, but not so much as they would like. Taxi to the beach. This is according to the two presidents of the taxi associations in SPG. It is not always you see three ships made. It's all fruitful for the taxi drivers. Eh? But we still have to wait for the, the, the agents and the two operators to get their, their persons first and leave. And then after the other people started coming out, we then play our trade. Um, there, there are times for the season when we had about three or four times we had a good sellout where all the taxis get up. But there are times when we have three ships and we still have taxis in the yard and that didn't get any jobs. Seven taxi, jet taxi, but all of them will not work today basically. Because during the course of the day for both associations, all taxi doesn't always get a job every day. We have what we call a rotation basis where we split the groups up in two groups, in four groups. So today's rotation four for my group and rotation three for his group. So the first set of persons in the rotation is probably will be like about 36 persons in total will allow to get inside of the yard first and to get a job. And then anybody else behind that will actually get a job after or to get a job on the outside. The taxi operators say it is a hustle for them. It, it is a mix. When you have too many old persons on a ship, it's become very difficult for us because they buy all the, or most of the tote on ship. You want, if you have a middle class or a younger person who are more adventurous, they'll come out and try and get their own taxi to go and do their own trips and so on. So that, that's, that's a better situation for us. The taxi operators say there is room for improvement and they need to work on ensuring they also benefit from the tourist season. If it was done by like government, we could have said, okay, that they need to level the playing field. But if it's a private individual or private business persons bringing in the ships and not government per se, right? Um, you would have to have dialogue with those individuals to sort of share the ship. Um, they are, they're, 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 they're playing feeling such a way they are persons, even ordinary persons who go online and get their tools sold online. So they come in with their signs as well, right? And collect their passengers. So it's a, it's a matter of marketing too, right? So I say we have work to do. That's what I must say. There were also two cruise ships docked at Port Elizabeth Beckway today. This is reportedly one of the best years for the cruise ship season in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, with 312 cruise calls anticipated and 10 inaugural calls. Larissa Pogsley-Kid, SVG TV News.